Look what, look what she did to my car, man. Look what this bitch did to my car. I can't stand this bitch. Look what she did to my car. Look what this bitch did to my car. I can't stand this hoe. I can't stand this bitch. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your right chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver is here, guys. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You talk too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? The more you peel the onion called Fanny Willis, the more that's revealed. Do you remember when Judge McCaffrey was on and... He did not really challenge Fannie Willis when her attitude and her demeanor, he didn't challenge her too much. You wonder why? Judge McAfee is compromised, guys. He is compromised. He has been, he used to work for Fannie Willis, if y'all guys didn't know that. What? He used to work for Fannie Willis. Not even that, he donated to her campaign before he was appointed to a judge. Now, it's only $150. It's only $150, but that's not the problem. The problem is that he hid it from us. He hid it from the media. And that's the problem. It's not the crime. It's the cover-up. What the hell you was covering up, sir? Yeah. Yeah, he's compromised. And here's another proof. When Terrence Bradley was on, on the witness stand... And he was doing his testimony about how the national board came to him and told him that he not, not to, to, uh, uh, testify against Willis or Mr. Wade. This encounter happened. Give you all my tests. But so, and apparently when she wait for her to ask a question. I, and I understand that, Judge. And I'm not well, trying apparently to. Apparently you just... don't, sir. Wait for her to ask a question and you'll have a chance. Woof. Woof. Yeah. You see that? The black man. Raised his voice just a tiny bit, and McAfee jumped down his throat. But you see, Miss Will is here, and he's covering. He's he's he told the the Trump um, lawyers to move on on questions. He didn't let the the Trump lawyers uh, elaborate on certain points. He kept telling the Trump lawyers to move on, move on. You asked that question already, and it looked kind of funny back then, but now it all makes sense. Yes, McAfee is compromised. I don't know how he's going to judge in a few weeks. I don't know what the ruling is going to be. But if it doesn't turn out the way that everybody sees, if Fannie Willis got any slap on the wrist, this is why. He donated $150 to her campaign and cover it up. He should have recused himself. This is all about recusal, and he did not do that. His wife also donated, what, $99? It's not a lot of money, but that's not the problem. It's the cover-up. Listen, I, I believe uh, he, he's a good man. I mean, I appointed him, um, and I think he. I'm very confident that that he'll be, a, you know, a constitutionalist, if you will. He won't make up the law. He'll follow it, and we'll see what his ruling says. Who also donated? I don't know if uh, Governor Kemp has donated to Fonnie Willis, but we all see Governor Kemp. He's he's acting a little funny. He doesn't act like a strong Republican. He gave Fonnie Willis a whole lead way. He gave Donald Trump a lot of trouble. Right? He tried to, you know, try to stay out of it. But, man, you need to say something. Now, uh, a lot of people went up to the governor, try to get his, try to get his input and try to get her off the case. And again, he tried to do more hands off. 
Something that happened in your home state last week, we all watched that dramatic testimony from the Fulton County District Attorney, Fonnie Willis. Based on what you saw, do you believe that she should be disqualified? Well, listen, we've had a political process there that, believe it or not, has gotten more political. And uh, we certainly saw that last week. I got to be very careful about what I'm saying here, because as you know, I was subpoenaed to be a witness in that in that grand jury. And so I, I really don't want to speak too much other than, you know, what I've said all along is I followed the law and the Constitution, but I've been very concerned about that being a political process. And I think now uh, Fonnie Willis is seeing how political it can get on the other side. You know, I don't know if Governor Kemp has donated money to her campaign, but it will make some sense because the way he's been acting lately, it doesn't make sense. He was mad at me. I was not mad at him. I told him exactly what I could and couldn't do when it came to the election, and I followed the law and the Constitution. And as I've said before, that's a lot bigger than Donald Trump. It's a lot bigger than me. It's a lot bigger than the Republican Party. And that's what I'm going to continue to do as the governor. And that's what I did in 2020. Okay, you've been compromised. I'll be watching you. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get off my lawn.